Well, I believe it's time for some tapped out. Well, greetings, everyone, and welcome to The Simpsons Tapped Out Live with me, your host, The Adipose. Now, for those of you wondering about the state of poor um, uh, Addy, uh, he is standing, uh, but he's, it's kind of with support. He's kind of propped up against the wall um, over there, but he, he's still smiling. Um, Clary, w would you please pass me, um, Addy? He's slightly out of shot. Um, I, I know Clary never likes to appear in such, so she'll probably just stand offside, but, but last week, uh, Addy... Ascent here he is. Uh, he essentially died on camera. Oh, Addy. We we put him back there, and then I was busy presenting, and shot, and everyone else just saw him kind of you know <laughs> die. He just kind of fell over backwards and just kind of laid there, you know, having a little a little fit. Oh, Addy. And everyone was like, oh my god, you know, someone's died behind you. And I was there just kind of going, hey, and look at your squid port, and look at this, and look at that. And everyone was like, you know, there's a fatality, and you know, so here he is. He's fine. He's going to give you a little wave. There we are. <laughs> anyway, so um, he's fine. He's fine. But we're not going to put him over there because that's a bit soft. There's a bit of felt there, and he tends to put him, and he tends to just kind of dunk again. But he's fine. So he's going to. I don't know. Maybe I'll just kind of you know put him on my shoulder. That's no, a stupid idea. I'm just going to. I'm just going to. If, if you want to see him during the stream, just let me know, and I'll just hold him up. Okay. Or we could talk about the Simpsons. Your choice. We got whatever. But there he is. He's fine. He's alive. He's not dead. In fact, maybe he could just present the show. You know, if I, maybe if I just put him there. And then talk. Uh, then maybe, I don't know. Maybe the show would be slightly more attractive. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not kind of sure. But I don't know. You, 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 he probably, you probably won't get as much face palming. I don't know. Can he? Can he face palm? He might be able to face palm. <laughs> kind of eye palm. <laughs> but that's about as far as it goes. Anyway, he's alive. So that hope should hopefully. Um, move us on from any kind of questions about that hello now um obviously if you are watching the live stream uh with me uh tonight that is absolutely fantastic and welcome and thank you for joining me uh but if you are of course watching the recorded version on youtube then where the hell are you it's been what now two months i mean if you work on a saturday night you've had now two months to swap your shifts if it's family you've had time to have a little chat with them you can do that thing where you sit on a table have a bit of candle time light the candle and kind of say whose turn is it to speak and you go well it's my turn and then you say yeah on saturday nights i'd really like to be with the adipose talking about the simpsons tapped out you guys are cool but addy is cooler he has soft toys and talks about city design um and stuff and you know if it's time zones just you know work nights you know just change your body clock lots of people do it especially during their university years they kind of think right i'm no longer going to do the whole day thing i'm just going to do all of my kind of essays at night and i'm going to party all night and during the day i'm going to sleep i'm going to stay up but i'm gonna watch um the adipose TV. So I say again, if you are not watching this live, then where the hell are you? But for those of you who are here, thank you and welcome and hello and um, huzzah and hurrah. And it looks like we've got loads of people in the stream today, which is fantastic. We've got uh, 47 um, right at the start of the show, which is fantastic. So thank you so much um, for all of you um, that, that have turned up. Welcome to the fat cell. And if you don't um, understand that phrase by now, then um, I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to leave it as some strange, weird um, phrase that I'm going to do. Now, today, uh, me, and, me and Mrs. Pose have been very busy. Uh, we're thinking about moving. Yes, true story. Uh, not to Springfield, although that would be cool, um, but it does mean we've been very busy with housing stuff, and I've got a wee little headache. Um, so I am going to put on my lovely little gaming glasses, which I'm aware will make me look at least uh, seven years older than I do already, so probably about 26, and uh, there, and uh, it will make me look slightly older, but today I'm just feeling the need for a bit more kind of relaxation and calm. In fact, it's a shame we're not doing the Buddhist temple, really, because that, that would have fitted in perfectly. Let's go into the game. Now, of course, we have had a, um, a lovely... Um, uh, update on Simpsons tapped out uh, this this over the last couple of weeks as I'm sure you have seen we've got the courthouse which we're going to be looking at tonight so I hope you're feeling like a bunch of uh, legal eagles uh, we have got the the one that I haven't bought yet <laughs> which is um, the obviously the blue head lawyer and we've got that uh, that the the building the the, the the grocery thing you know the thing you can see i prepare for these but most of all uh we have got the courthouse which i have been made sure i was ready for the for the stream here i was a bit concerned because I, I thought it would be a day long build but it turned out to be a day and a half build uh, but this is what we are going to be um looking at i've got my little space ready 
uh, we're going to be sticking it in here um, but I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased um, I'm pretty pleased with with it with this update so far I and mean, obviously last week we had some fun with the with the uh, with the new boats um, over over on the kind of squid port here I haven't quite finished my little design next we haven't got right back to the squid port yet but we had some we had some, we did some kind of cool stuff um, you know w with that but th this courthouse I think is a lovely um, distinct um, building now I, I was tempted um, a little bit to just be a tad uh, just be a touch cheeky with my design and shove it in here do you guys remember this? This is like my my inner city um, town, my inner city bit that we made for uh, for Christmas, if you remember. So the Christmas tree now is um, absolutely out of date. Um, so if I get all this kind of stuff out of the way, but I, I kind of thought that the court, if you've got a kind of inner city part um, to your um, to your city, then th then the courthouse is just going to go brilliantly in there. Because what is more inner city really, um, you know, that, than a courthouse? I mean, it, it, the, just by its kind of uh, whole general kind of um, principle it is the center of the town you know the places where the people would be arrested and kind of dragged off to and you know forced to account for their crimes and things like that so if you've done if you've got an area with uh, you know your skyscrapers and your king kong towers and uh, and, and and stuff like that. I mean, have a little look at that. That might that be my first recommendation. You know, have a look at that area, and have a think about whether um, that is actually um, going to be the best place for you to put your for your to put your court. Because I, I was a bit tempted because I put, I put my high school in my design, not because the high school necessarily goes in the centre of the town, um, but because the high school, the, just the look of that building, just looked really good. Like it really fits with that high school thing. So I was a bit tempted just to just whip out the high school and stick in the courthouse and say job done and make it probably the shortest live stream. Um, of, of all time and being like there it is done um, but I thought that would probably be a little bit cheeky and you guys would write bad things on my wall and possibly stop giving me chocolate mm -hmm. uh, Jamie said he wanted to see the adipose again there it is Ta -da. Um, is that Mike Zilla saying hello he finally got in and then he has to go <laughs> did, I did I read that right <laughs> well if that was Mike hello if that wasn't Mike then not hello but um, it's interesting that people always call themselves the real what what. I mean, obviously, it tends to happen when you get people stalking. I mean, if you, I mean, the, the the slightly bizarre thing is that, obviously, my name on the internet actually is the Adipose. So, if actually someone came along with the name the real Adipose, then they aren't actually the real Adipose. So, I mean, that does, I mean, that just ruins everything. I mean, does that mean I need to register my name and my name the real version? I mean, it's, 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 it, let's not, let's not think about it. It will confuse us. But here we go. This is the courthouse. This is what we are. Um, this is what we are looking at today. And the faces look like monkeys because that's just what Twitch does, Charles. Um, I'm I'm afraid. Uh, I think it's quite cool. It's distinctive. You know, it's, it's a slightly different way of of doing smileys. There's all sorts of. Um, bizarre little uh, uh, things in Twitch in terms of smileys. You can just Google it and you can get a whole um, different bunch. And hello Shadow Red, first time joining the stream. That is fantastic. You are more than welcome uh, to, to, to join uh, the stream. Do ask the, the mods if you've got any questions about what you can and cannot do. Yes, and everyone is obsessed with um, the mini adipose. So let's go and visit some little uh, some, some friends of mine. And, uh, ooh, where's that from? Go on a visit. So come on down and visit some friends of mine. Well, that's South Park, isn't it? That's the opening credits to South Park. Oh, that's a flashback. I haven't seen that since about 1999. But yes, we're going to go and have a look at uh, some people's courthouses. We're going to obviously take some inspiration and, uh, you know, maybe steal some stuff too. Um, I hope your guys' harbours have been going well. Um, I don't think I've spotted any, although I haven't, I've had a busy week, like I said, with with, with me and Mrs. Pose looking at kind of houses and stuff and obviously trying to resuscitate Adipose. Uh, we ha well, I haven't had a lot of time on Tapped Out this week, as you can see from my lack of knowledge. Uh, so, um, uh, I haven't seen any harbours, but if you've been working on your squid pot harbours, then double thumbs up to you, and um, I'd still love to see them. So you can you can message me on um, tapped out at code at UK or or, um, or or one of the other ones. That would be that would be great. Um, but I'd love to see it because um, uh, I think um, harbours are really cool, and you can do some really really nice. Um, uh, you know, different things with decorations. In fact, I did see one. I did see one. Now, who did I see? Oh, that's going to annoy me. But I did see I did see another harbour during the week, and they'd done a similar thing to me with like the strips, but they'd actually designed um, the sides better. 
uh, you know, they'd put kind of, I think they'd put the newspapers next to the fuel or something like that. But whatever they'd done, it looked really, really, really good. So definitely, if you've got some Creative Harbour stuff, um, then you let me know. So here we are, the courthouse. This is Erin's um, city. Erin is brand new to my origin list. I was going, I was searching around earlier today and I found her designs in her city and I went, that's good. Um, you have earned your spot on my origin. And if I, I, I haven't shown her city before, so if I just take a, a slow meandering look around the city you can see the kind of standard of design here i think we can from what i'm seeing there's very few premium items about but that's not a bad thing i mean that's actually a compliment in a way because it means that you've got a you've managed to make um some good stuff out of um of the free stuff well there's a few, few premium bits and bobs there there's the uh the the, the pink roses and stuff like that but not nicely kind of placed uh a bit incomplete in places but you know who's <laughs> there's there's very few people whose cities is 100 percent complete and when they are absolutely complete they then spend half the time making it incomplete because they haven't got room for whatever the latest things is what am i taking notes on m oh you mean before the show oh maybe she just means before the show you know earlier you know earlier i said uh to m i said hey m i've had a really busy week it's been tough i've had stuff at school uh, i'm a teacher oh that's my cat falling off the table you're right he's fine he's just licking his area you know which area and uh I said, M, hey, if you could possibly help me by finding some useful designs for courthouses, um, I'd, I'd really appreciate it, and I'll give you credit in the stream. You know, if you, if you wouldn't mind giving me a hand, uh, you know, just find me a few great court designs. And uh, M said, of course, um, I found one. Um, it's mine. It's really good. Show that. Um, so thanks, M. Uh, really useful. Anyway, so back to Erin, back to Erin, back to Erin. We're going to talk about the court. Now, of course... Court, what does that kind of say to you? Court to me says jail, it says justice, it says police, it says crime, it says criminals, it says judges, it says city, as we have kind of discussed before, it says efficiency, it says seriousness. I mean, this is going to be a, uh, this is going to be a, uh, you know, a, a kind of a, a sensible, uh, uh, well-kept building. We, we aren't going to have, like, you know, scraps of bushes all over the place or kind of like or odd things higgledy-piggledy. This is going to be very kind of uh, regimented and, and kind of uh, well looking. Um, hey, Mark, didn't see you there. Um, the, my type of cat, uh, it's uh, fat and ginger. So, I don't know, is that is that a breed? I'm not sure. It's a cat. Do you get types of cats? I suppose you get like Siamese and stuff. I would pick him up, but this, this cat hates being picked up. Like, if I pick him up, he'll... He'll 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 go for my eyes or something, and then and then you'll just have me like bleeding on the live stream, and then I'll be like, hey guys, do you remember that live stream when um, Adipose stabbed himself in the face? And uh, oh, hang on, here comes Clary Pose. She's going to attempt to pick up the cat. This is what happens is she picks up the cat, and then I get injured. That's what happens. I think. Oh, am I going to have a cat here? Or oh, maybe. <laughs> There you go. So that type of cat. So, so, so the, the, there you go. That, that's probably going to be the latest screenshot that people are going to take of me now and just replace my head with a cat. So there you go. That cat. Uh, it would also appear that um, my Springfield has completely crashed. Um, so I'm going to need to reboot The Simpsons. Um, yeah, that's how you can tell the show is live because um, things go horribly wrong. I get attacked by a cat. I sit on the adipose and uh, I... Um the sim and, and the game crashes in front of everyone, so you get to see the menu screen again, which is very exciting. Oh, we have a bit of a poem. Last week there was a little adipose called Adipose. One of Addy's fans bought him a little adipose for him to play with. One day Addy sat on him while watching random stuff on TV. Claire? Who's Claire? Ordered and operation. Claire ordered an operation. Mm -hmm. Luckily he was okay, but then... Sa is, what you, is this a poem? This isn't a poem. This is just stuff. Oh dear, that just crashed again, didn't it? Oh good, this is going to be good. <laughs> you, you, you see what I'm saying, Wookie? Yes, indeed. Threats of bleeding live streams. Then you know, you know it's. I mean, I mean, a live stream isn't good. A good live stream until someone gets injured. You know, I mean, otherwise it's just. I mean, what is it really? Oh God. Oh God! Okay, for those of you wanting the face palm, there we go. There's today's. There is today's image. Here it is, the loading screen. Bart being a knob and me failing to get into the game. Let's press the retry button, and we'll all hope. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to. Oh, you are kidding me! You are absolutely kidding me! 
Otherwise, oh, but we've got 65 views. This is the excellent. This is the biggest live stream we've ever had in terms of The Simpsons. We've got 65 people watching this, which is absolutely amazing. And the blimmin' server has gone down, which means I'm just going to have to monologue and talk. I don't know. I'm going to have to give you an imaginary courthouse. Hey, guys, can you all close your eyes? Maybe kind of like a group meditation thing. And I'd like you to imagine a courthouse because I can't show you one because the EA servers have gone down. Oh, God. Right. So, does anyone know any jokes? Uh, or uh, does anyone... Uh, can it, is anyone else getting... Is anyone else getting kicked out of their game? Or is it, or is it, is it just me? <laughs> Maybe I should just get some chocolate and eat that in front of you. Um, I don't know. I've got some Jaffa cakes downstairs. I could just very slowly eat them in front of you and kind of moan about things. <sighs> oh! Is that different? No, that's not different. No, I had a glimmer of hope there. It gave me a loading screen for a second before throwing me back into nothing. We are aware some players may have lost connectivity to The Simpsons. Really? Well, if you're unaware of it, fix it. Now, the thing, this annoys me because um, I play a lot of online games. I do. I'm a bit of a gamer. I play, uh, you know, I play Battlefield. I play, uh, earlier today, I was playing, uh, what was I playing? Sanctum with, with Bish. Go and check out the video. It was fun. Uh, I've been doing Rocksmith. I've been doing... You know, a lot of online games. And no game that I play goes down as much as The Simpsons. And no game that I play goes as much as this. And I think that's wrong. I mean, we pay for this. I've bought donuts. I mean, you've seen my donut score. You know how much I've spent on this game. Um, you know, it's well over... Well, we won't say how much, because, you know, Claire is in the next room, and she'll give me, you know, that look. You know, that look. And... The servers keep crashing. I mean, how hard is it? I mean, do you think there's just some... I mean, either they've just got a server which just breaks all the time. You know, just like a kind of a cabinet thing that just kind of snaps and breaks and is just generally unreliable. In which case, replace it. Or they've got literally got a gremlin that just sits there flicking off the switch on occasion going, ha, ha, ha. Or... I don't know. I just don't have the reason. Like, what? Like surely, like, if you were Mr. Tapped Out, surely you would go, hmm, my servers go down all the time. I will fix them. Whereas they seem to go, well, our servers go down all the time, so full stop. And I kind of think, no, 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 there should be another half of their sentence. There should be our servers go all the down all the time. We've made more profits than anyone else in the history of humanity, therefore we will fix it. But they seem to have just taken the opposite kind of action and kind of go, well, when it goes down, we'll send everyone a little message saying, ah, ha, 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 well, we knew there was a problem, uh, and uh, at some point we'll pull this out of this, and, uh, and we'll try and sort it out for you. Um, but we'll sort it retrospectively rather than introspectively. There we go, big words. Look them up on Google, uh, which is quite cool. Okay, so Tahita's telling me that he is in. Um, so that, maybe that's a little bit of a glimmer of hope. Otherwise, we're going to have to talk about courthouses. In fact, I'll, I'll talk about courthouses, you know, while we're, while we're kind of, uh, you know, enjoying looking at uh, my loading screen. And for those of you that have never been to the stream before, welcome. This is what we do. What we do is we load the game and um, I monologue about stuff. Um... <sighs> And, uh, actually, to be honest, that is kind of what we do, even on normal weeks. Yeah, no, that, that is actually what we do. I, we, I, 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 I talk about stuff and everyone listens, and occasionally I sit on that, and occasionally we get cats that come in, and occasionally I get abused by people, and occasionally someone says a rude word and gets banned. So that's kind of how the live stream works, to be fair. we don't. So that probably implies that we don't actually need the game in these live streams at all. I think they're actually just a distraction uh, from what's really <laughs> important, which is just sitting about and, uh, and goffing. Oh my god, Andy has just suggested that I press retry. Thank you, Andy. Um, I hadn't thought of that before. I mean, um, I'll try that now and see if it helps. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, my, this is really embarrassing. There's so many guys here I haven't seen before. Andy, I haven't seen you before. Ipinio Henyo, I don't think I've ever seen your, na your name before either. You're more than welcome to come to the to, to the fat cell. Thank you. Welcome, and I'm so sorry that all you're seeing is Bart loading. Um. <laughs> I think we should beat Bart. Maybe we should try one of those, like, you know, like, uh, you know, like, kind of seance things, you know, if we all kind of chant it, uh, you know, maybe it'll kind of, uh, it'll, it'll kind of come back, you know, maybe the kind of, you know, the spirits of Tapped Out will in some way kind of, you know, kind of come to us in some way. So maybe we could, if we could get some sort of, uh, you know, plug it back in chant going, uh, you know, maybe, maybe Bart will hear us and kind of re-plug it back in, you know, plug it back in, plug it back in, type thing. Um, I mean, the other thing that bugs me about this is that... <laughs> the other thing that bugs me about... This, so, sorry, Epino, if it's your, if it's your second time. I apologise. I, I <laughs> There's a lot of people that watch, and I, I'm, I'm pleased that you're here, and I'm double... Um, 
pleased. Oh, Andy was being sarcastic. Sorry, Andy, we, we have a little rule here. If you're being sarcastic, you're welcome to be sarcastic. Because I'm sarcastic all the time. But what you need to do is, when you're being sarcastic, is you need to raise your right hand uh, next to your face. And then you can be as sarcastic as you want. Uh, you know, and, and everyone will know. And they'll just kind of say, oh, were you insulting me? Oh, no, 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 no. Look, the right hand is up. Therefore, therefore it's fine. Um, the other thing is you can say before you're sarcastic is that really nice little phrase, no offense. Have you got any people, any friends that do that? It's nice. They say, no offense, but you're getting really fat. You know, stop, something like that. You know, they just kind of, you know, they, they, they put those little words in front of it so they think then everything is fine and then they just say something horrific. Um, you know, Hitler used to start most of his speeches with that, you know, no offense, but then started banging the table and talking about whatever it was he had to um, kind of say that particular day. Good. We're getting the, the plug it back in chance going. Maybe if we could get some sort of, you know, kind of table banging or kind of not of the head going at the same time uh, you know that that would that would that would that would be great as well I was going to talk about something else but I've forgotten what it was now either way I'm sure it was fascinating so what do we think we do actually I tell you what we can do I tell you what we can do there's a way around this let's go to the desktop or the adipose and let's go and let's go and check out some of the designs off from some of the websites shall we uh, so let's head over to uh, my little buddies on tapped out UK um, first of all, because um, they've been nice enough to put together a little page, which is the uh, what do you do with, um, what have you done with um, page, and then we'll have a look at the forum um, if we're not back into uh, uh, back into the game. Yeah, I mean, for those of you that are interested in appearing in the live streams, um, I tend the, it's very simple how I do it. Um, the way uh, the way that I tend to do it is I don't. Um, yeah, you know, if, you, if you kind of beg me to add you, I'm not going to do it because I don't have time to look at everyone's, uh, everyone's websites. The best way to do it is come over to these sites, tappedout.co.uk or um, the Tapped Out Forum or the official EA site. Uh, those tend to be the ones I look at, but I do sometimes go on others as well. Um, but I, I, I just kind of scan down the designs, and if I, and if I see things, um, if I see things that I like. Um, you know, I, I asked people to add them. If I did it today with Erin, Erin, who you know, remember I was showing you her city, and then uh, the whole of the Simpsons crashed. Uh, so I think we should actually blame Erin. Yeah, I think maybe I'll, I'll message Erin later and say, "Look what you did! You know what you did!" And uh, and so anyway, so we're looking at um, what have you done with um, the courthouse? So I'll, I'll zoom in. You'll have to let me know if you could, um, if you could. Um, if you can if you can see this uh looks like we're back up to 65 views welcome everyone um if you've just joined um i apologize for the lack of gameplay because uh the ea server has gone down <laughs> and notice my hand is not in the air um therefore i'm not being sarcastic but of course also you, you, you don't actually have a camera um for me at the moment so you can't actually tell i'm being sarcastic or not um because um, you can't see my face that's just a little bit embarrassing anyway so i was talking about the courthouse and i was kind of saying uh you know, I was talking about the courthouse and kind of saying that uh, it's this, it's this, it's this thing that's kind of going to be very, very, kind of regimented. You know, it's going to be very, very posh looking. It's not going to have anything kind of messy around the place. It's going to look like a really good quality, well kept building. And of course, it's going to have some kind of links to police and kind of jail and, and things like that. Um, and actually, unlike some other buildings. Um, uh, K, I've, I've I've closed out the app and try again and tried again, but keep, no, I, I will try that again. But I have tried properly closing it while I was talking chatting to you. Um, actually, unlike other buildings, the courthouse has actually got quite a lot of. Um, the courthouse has actually got quite a lot of. Um, uh, relevant decorations. Uh, we've got several um, statues that will fit quite nicely. I think the um, the Mr. Smithers gold statue works. We've got the Lady Justice one. I think is it at least a Lacey, Lady Justice one as well, or something. That, there's another one as well that works really, really nicely. Um, the other thing that we can look at. Oh, if we just hit 70. Oh, if we just hit 70 viewers, that's absolutely outstanding. Thank you so much for everyone that turned up. Um, if we have, uh, if we've hit, uh, if we've hit 70, I just apologise. I haven't got, haven't got any gameplay for you because that's EA servers for you. Um, but the other thing, if I just zoom in really really far here and I know I'm, I'm all, what you can, all you can probably see now is the world's biggest blur but look in front of the um, s the courthouse and you've got this pair of lions you can probably see my mouse here uh, if I if I wiggle it look there's my mouse um, we've got this uh, the, these kind of pair of lions here which aren't a million miles away from the uh, the bulls 
um, with you know the golden bulls, which are next to you know I think I often put mine next to the Buddhist temple, um, but they're not a million miles away from um, the the bulls. So you could put the bulls next to those lines uh, as well, and you'd actually get um, a really really um, nice effect as well. So one of the things that's really going to be a benefit with the design of the courthouse is that we have got um, tons of um, cool stuff to kind of, to kind of um, to, to to go with it. So that and as you can see, um, Curtis here has done just that. We've got the uh, the, the, the justice lady there or the justice is blind um, statue nicely sitting there on the left with a nice um, yeah, you know kind of small design and remember like, like I always uh, like I always say um, can the rest of you hear me um, uh, Stephen a uh, shadow I think um, the rest of you can hear me so um, uh, shadow I think it's just you have you uh, you know, turn off your ears or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, but uh, like, like and small is never bad on Simpsons. Remember, I, I've, I've talked about this, but this before. I think it's a really important thing to kind of say um, is that it, your design doesn't have to be the hugest design uh, you ever uh, make because um, if you make every single building huge, then um, uh, you're going to run out of space. Probably you're going to run out of space probably before you finish like your third, uh, your, your your third or fourth building. So you know some of them are going to have to be small. So the fact that Curtis has put together a small courthouse design here is actually a really good thing for you guys to have a little look at. He simply put that lovely purple wall around the edge, which looks um, so good um, and kind of professional. He's put, put a little statue in, a couple of well kept trees, um, and a nice little touch, a little side gate. And the lovely thing about that um, side gate, of course, is that it, it does look a little bit kind of jail like doesn't it you know it's got that kind of nice um uh kind of rung bar um kind of aspect to it and that does that works really uh really really well so if you're looking for a nice small professional design um something like that um is going to work um really well and through the power of um magic let's go back to a live game you see what i did there welcome back i know you've missed this face and i know you've missed this face and I know you've missed this empty tube of Smarties. In fact, I'm missing this empty tube of Smarties because there's no Smarties in it anymore. But that's probably the most the disappointing thing of them all. So here we are, back in um, Erin's um, city. And Erin has actually taken some of the ideas that uh, we, we actually just saw in um, Curtis's design as well. Uh, we've got um, the statues, except this time we've got one on the left and the right. Um, both premium items, I think, so you'll have to um, splash a little bit for those two the purple wall again kind of makes um, an appearance uh, and we've got some really lovely neat trimmed bushes and trees around so I think what we're probably going to see with the courthouse is a few um, similar looking or themed designs you know something that's looking very very um, uh, kind of kind of well kept and kind of professional but 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 I'm not done with Aaron's designs because what I like about Aaron's design is if we follow the wall back we keep going, we keep going, we keep going, we keep going, we keep going. What do we get? We get some American flags. Hooray! All that kind of stuff. Um, and then we get to our kind of other civil civil buildings. I really like this. We've actually, if I zoom out, you'll be able to see what I'm going to get out here. Because what we've got is a complex of quite a few of the uh, the civil buildings. Uh, we've got the, the library, we've got the post office i think uh we've got a kind of road that kind of goes through like you can see that kind of road kind of goes through the courthouse and uh and then it kind of goes through the liberty bell which i think fits this whole idea of kind of you know justice truth american way superman um and stuff really well past the jebediah springfield statues which i think have this kind of nice kind of I don't know, they have that kind of old-fashioned kind of morality and you know, seriousness feel, going straight into the town hall with another pair of um, Amer American um, flags there as well. So I think what we have got here um, is a really, really nice uh, complex, a, a, a set of designs of different, um, a set of designs that keep it, that keep the, the different uh, elements uh, of 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 a town um, together, and I, and I've said that kind of idea before as well. You know, don't design your um, don't design your buildings in in separate pieces. You know, don't kind of go. You know, here's a building over here, here's a building over here, here's a building over here. As far as you can, you know, stick them together. You know, f find buildings that work together, put them together into one complex, and you're going to get a really uh, nice design. Now, loads of people throughout the week have been telling me to tap the statue. In fact, someone has just done it just then. Yeah, Charles, someone mentioned it. I haven't actually done it yet, so I don't actually know what it does. Ah! Oh, she whips off her blindfold. How cheeky. Is she holding Aladdin's lamp? 
She seems to be holding Aladdin's lamp or something like that. Uh, maybe, maybe that's traditional as well, but she, yeah, she, she whips off her little blind. So much for justice being blind, eh? She's had a little peek and she knows who is guilty. Uh, but I think that's a really nice design. Um, I think that is a, um, a a really nice design. So if you guys uh, would like to give this design a um, a a, 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 a ranking, um, that would be fantastic. Um, I think it's a, a really nice one. But of course, um, you are welcome to to judge it yourself. Um, if you haven't come before, we tend to kind of uh, give it a little kind of rating out of ten, never to be mean or anything like that, but just kind of you know to give it to appreciation for the designer and uh, you know to kind of think about where we kind of put this um, in our in our things. Uh, some of you seem to be talking about the whacking day statues uh, there, or someone asking how you get the Jebediah statues. A couple of times if you just look at them carefully you'll see um they not they are actually not the same statue uh one of them is uh one with the gun pointing up and one of these got uh, with a snake and one of them is him uh treading on a bear um so uh the the idea is is that uh, what one was the Jebediah statue which you get for tapping homer i think 10 times and then one is the one you got from the whacking day promotion which was um you know a couple of years uh february i think february Oh, we're out. We're almost in February, so it might, it might, it might well come down again. So if you've only got one, don't worry. You haven't done anything wrong, um, but it, it'll be coming around again. So it looks like we've got a few um, kind of tens around there, and nines point nine 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 from the Wookie, thirteen point five um, from there, um, and. Uh, and hey, cool. So, so we, we are, we are, we are liking the design. Let us go and um, check out. Um, let us go and uh, check out someone else's design before we get into designing around. Because I think for the last few last few live streams, I've done a lot of showing you and not a lot of building. So I'm I'm in, I'm in a building mood. You know, let's, let's put these little hands to work, and um, uh, we, we could put our little uh, hands to work, and um, we can we will get building. But I'll show you a few more few more before we do. Uh, let's go over and see K City. K had a nice little uh, design for the. Uh, uh, the courthouse up up um, earlier. Uh, obviously, Kay's one of the, like, like like many people now is starting to run out of space a little bit. So she's had to, I think she had to squeeze her courthouse um, in over here. Yes, here we are, right on the right hand side of our city. Now, what's really nice about this is when we, remember we talked about this idea of combining buildings. Um, she has combined um, this idea of a. Um, uh, uh, the police station, the, the, the judicial thing. She has put the police station um, very near the courthouse, and I, I was kind of thinking putting, you know, you, you could you could almost have a little row, couldn't you? You could put like uh, the police station, and then you could put the courthouse, and then you could kind of put the jail um, behind it. Do you know what I mean? You could put like, you know, almost like the little prank process. You've been arrested, and now you're being taken to the courthouse, and now you've been tried, and now you're going to go to jail. And you could put one building, uh, one building um, behind, uh, but behind the other, and uh, you know. And we can kind of get get rid of it. Um, and if um, M, if you could get rid of the issue, that would be appreciated. Um, so let me think. What I was looking at here. So we've got um, a, a really nice design here. We've got the the kind of the SWAT um, police car. Hang on, then I will deal with the issue. Okay, yeah, so let's have a little look at what we've got here in um, Kay's design. Again, we've got the statues, but this time we've got a pair of them of the same statue this time. And this is a nice little thing. Like, when you put a statue down, don't for, um, if you get the idea of it, um, you can always kind of frame them in some way. Sometimes people do it with, with bushes and flowers or benches work really, really nicely. Um, but what Kay has done here is round, round the base of every, flat, every statue, you've got this kind of little flower design. Now, what that does, if we kind of look at them, is it actually makes the whole shadow, uh, that's not a whole shadow, the whole statue look look bigger you know so rather than just being this kind of small little statue it looks like a large statue you know actually not not in terms of height but in terms of its kind of breadth because it kind of all looks like it's part of the same unit so it's a really nice way of kind of using um 
uh, it, it's a really nice way of using um, decorations uh, to to expand on the other decorations you already have. So you know, use your, use your kind of decorations together. And then, like I said, we've got this idea of uniformity. You know, both sides are actually looking very similar here. Uh, we've got a pair of benches, we've got a dustbin, we've got some no lovely trees, bit of variation in the trees um, in terms of their positioning. And, and then, of course, we've got the courthouse itself, and again, the purple wall. So we've got um, that theme, um, you know, kind of coming out there, th of course. But of course, again, like you said, the police station very nicely um, linking um, through here and, and I think I don't know about you but I think the way that the um the, the 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 road is barricaded off with those fences you know but the fences that look like gates don't they if you look carefully like the, we know we know those are fences but if we look at the fences and the way they're kind of put there um they look like gates and of course that helps to increase this idea of kind of police station I mean <laughs> of course the the bullet the, the character there has just walked straight through the gates um but they, because they do look like gates, it's this idea that you know once you're in there, you're in trouble, and you're going to have to kind of open it, um, open them, and close them if you want to kind of get out. So, and I, I'd also say um, I featured Kay a couple of times recently, but I, I, if she, I don't know if Kay's here, I don't know if I've seen her, um, but I would say that um, her designing has come has really developed over the last like month or so. Um, you know, from from someone that kind of put together some nice designs to actually someone that's actually putting together some really quite original and uh, um, really very quite impressive designs. Um, so I'd she's someone that I'm definitely definitely going to be um, checking out the city of um, hopefully reg regularly, in the, regularly in the future and it looks like people are already um, giving us some some lovely designs there some some nines out of tens some tens out of tens um, elevens out of tens which is um, uh, you know, which is which is impossible. It means you don't really understand how this ten out of ten system works. Um, but I, I wish this guy would stop walking through the gates, though. He's ruining this whole. <laughs> he's ruining this whole system of kind of walking uh, off the gates thing. I'm seeing how how stern these gates are, and you're and you're wrecking the whole thing. <laughs> right, let's uh. Let's go ahead over and look at one more design before we start uh, doing this kind of stuff ourselves. Uh, let's go and have a look at. I think we'll have a look at cork coppers. Um, I was, I've got Mitzi's as well, but I've shown Mitzi's City a few times over the last few weeks. And Mitzi's is excellent. If you're friends with Mitzi, uh, go and check it out. Um, uh, but this is uh, cork coppers. So I think I tried to show. Did I show, show last week? I thought about showing cork coppers last week with the squid port, but I'm not. I don't. I can't remember whose I did and who I whose I didn't. I'm glad you're enjoying the designs, baby, baby Lisa. And uh, so here we are over on cork coppers. And where did I say I need to go to? I, my note to myself goes down a little bit. Where do I need to go down a little bit to? Here we are. Here is the courthouse. Um, now, what it, what is quite spectacular about Court Copper City is uh, this kind of central park area is colossal. I think it's one of the biggest parks I've ever seen. I mean, it's all kind of it's more done with hedges rather than grass, um, but he's got this truly kind of spectacular mid city section that goes all the way from the squid port past a kind of huge city lake. I think he's kind of got a bit of like a central park thing. Um, I think we've got a bit of kind of central park thing going on, and. Um, uh, you know, it, it kind of nicely leading up to kind of the town hall and uh, and and so on, and then kind of go, then it kind of goes into the the normal kind of city. But then what what he's done on the side here, or he or she, I don't actually know uh, Court Copper's gender, so a uh, he she or some sort of Hermie or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, then what we've got here is we, is that the the hedging area nicely goes over a road and then brings us to the the courthouse zone. Now here's a slightly different way of using that statue because I think whatever we're going to do, um, I think whatever we do, we, we're going to end up using a statue in our design right we're just going to have to because it fits so well and um uh the the fact is that what we've got here is rather than putting the the statues kind of next to the building in some way is he's put it in the central reservation he's put it in the the walkway where people are going to go in and uh what he's done because he because he's connected it to the park he can then kind of cheat and kind of get away with um putting kind of general park items next to the courthouse and it actually looks really 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 good um so we've got here we've got the normal things you know, we've got we've got bins we've got newspaper dispensers we've got lampposts and a really nice lamppost design has to be said you know just on the corner of each kind of hedge uh, goes in oh I can, I can see from your comments that you're enjoying looking at the park design which is which is fantastic um, and uh, you know we can just kind of head in there and we can kind of just see that this this really, really looks like a really nice park fountains hedges notice with the hedges as well if you look at the if you look next to the um, 
the the f the hedges there on the inside. I'm trying to point at it with my finger. If you look there, you can see he's actually got some bushes on the inside of the hedges again. If you remember what I was saying earlier about using using one decoration next to another decoration to make the whole thing kind of look bigger, um, then. Uh, you know that it works really nicely, and he's used the bushes there to kind of expand the design as well. Cowboy, cow bomb. Um, I don't know why you were kicked out, but if you could drop it, please, we can discuss it after the stream. But um, can you drop the issue now, please? Otherwise, I will deal with it, and it won't be a short one. So just drop it, and we can discuss it later. Thank you very much. Um, so that's that's the design there, and then obviously then cork bomb, cork, uh, cork bomb, um, <laughs> cork hopper. Um, the design then goes um, off into cork bomb. That would be an awesome, like a, an explosion of corks. It would be like wine raining from the sky, and then of course the city goes on into um, kind of his, his other stuff. But um, I can see here that you guys are very kind of, um, you know, kind of excited about the design, and so am I. I think it's really, really nicely put together, and it, it, I'm sure it's, it's probably better, better than anything I can come up with um, spontaneously. As you know, let's be honest, I just steal other people's designs, put them together, and kind of go, "Hey, look at my town." Um, but that's what we're here for. That's the whole point of these design videos: is to kind of share share ideas and kind of um, to to be inspired and uh, to kind of enjoy stuff but yeah they, those are some lovely lovely um hedge designs i mean effectively all you've got in front of you there is is hedges trees and a couple of flowers but what he's done with them is put them together into such um uh such a lovely kind of little pattern um that it work it works absolutely brilliantly okay so i think it's time for a bit of um adipose designing don't you i think it's time for us to kind of uh, put some stuff um, to, together now I'm going to kind of use a few of ideas from what we've seen and uh, if you guys have got some um, suggestions as well um, that would be uh, really really useful um, so uh, first of all I'm just going to um, clear the rubbish out of the way um, a little trip tip by the way I, I don't know if you about you but I often end up with these big big collections of rubbish um, way over one side of my town because I've kind of shoved them all in now sometimes I want to keep the rubbish for example if I go over here um, the rubbish here is I've deliberately kept um, because I might use it in decorations. I might want it for something, so I've decided to keep a certain amount of um, I've decided to keep a certain amount of um, uh, rubbish for decor decorations. But the rest of it you kind of want to get rid of. But I often find it ends up miles away from um, my kind of city, and I can't get Homer and Lisa over there. Um, but one thing you can do to get Homer and Lisa over to that side of the city, because one of the things you can't do in Simpsons is just pick up a character and go up go move um, you got two options you can kind of just wait until they get near or you can kind of bring the rubbish uh, forward um, but the other thing you can do is um, the other thing you can do is move the Simpsons house temporarily because what you can do is give Homer or Lisa a really short task it doesn't have to be the Simpsons house it could be any building you've got where they've got a short task you know something that's maybe like an hour or two hours you something where you can move it set them to a task and let go and you move that building over there and next to your big pile of rubbish get them to complete the task press the thumbs and of course they walk out right next to the rubbish so then you can just quickly grab them and click clean up Springfield and they'll walk straight away um, over to that rubbish um, I, I don't think you can do it with like their 60 second tasks or 10 minute tasks um, but uh, you know that's quite I hope, that, I hope that's a useful tip for you any, any of you if you've got a big pile of rubbish um, so I've got one down here that I'm going to need to get rid of probably in a couple of weeks or something. Big pile of rubbish right there. All I need to do is move the Simpsons house down there temporarily. Give it like a, you know, give it, give them a few hour tasks. Wait for them to pop out, and there they are in the right place. And I can just go through and I can pick up all that trash. Now, uh, the other thing that I can do. Oh, a nice tip from Total Tapper there. I didn't know that one. Apparently, you can move them while they're cleaning as well. So I suppose that means if you can get them to one piece of trash. Uh, you can probably I assume that means you can then move the trash itself so I suppose so if they are cleaning if you if while they're cleaning then if you quickly press that you can probably then grab it and move move them over to somewhere else nice little tip thank you total tapper um, so yeah well, I'm, I'm gonna put my courthouse here ish um, near to my jail um, I was thinking about getting the police station over there but I've already designed my police station over here and I kind of didn't want to kind of mess up the whole thing um, too much. So I'm going to put my courthouse approximately there near the jail. Now, if you were here for my jail um, one, uh, you'll know that I kind of put it on a little island with with all sorts of different decorations. Uh, so, but because it's on an island, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one square of road. Um, apparently, not there. I'm going to put one square of road right there, 
and if I just do that, it's going to put little bridges on it. Now that's going to be our little jetty. So we're going to our courthouse is going to lead to that, and then for anyone that's kind of getting sailed off um, to the to, to jail is going to be kind of taken to it. Um, so what I'm then going to do is trying to line up the courthouse nicely uh, with probably a bit of pa kind of pavement, um, which will kind of look like the path that then leads us across there so we'll, we'll kind of see how it works out we, we haven't exactly decided where everything's going to go but this i'm kind of working from kind of general principles and then we'll kind of uh, move in but i've got my little road there that's going to take us across um obviously things like the the, the swap van um would would go nicely here um I, I might move that across the obviously police cars work nicely next to um work work nicely next to the courthouse Um, and so let's have a look at what kind of things we do. Like a lot of people have that that wall, uh, like we like we talked about, because because the other things when you think about the fences um, that we've got, you you kind of need the ones that look kind of um, rich. Um, and the fences tend to look a bit cheap. Iron railings, maybe you could get away with, and certainly you know maybe I could do something like this, for example. You know, if I put a little fence uh, iron railing across that thing there, it looks like gates. Um, so, so it's good to kind of not use them for other things. And I could put an iron railing around the whole thing, but if I do that, then the gates don't look like gates. Uh, the gates will just look like um, uh, just another part of the fence. And I think people will then be like, "Well, why does he put a fence across the the place that he wants to get to? It doesn't really work." So again, there the contrast between the the purple wall and uh, everything else is going to look quite nicely. But you could do it with hedges as well, especially as we're kind of near near. Um, fairly near the river so it kind of depends what kind of style you want to go for and it also depends kind of how intercity I want to make this bit as well like is this going to be a kind of a courthouse out kind of in the country like a kind of country courthouse um, or is this going to be um, uh, is this going to be kind of like a courthouse or a country courthouse is this is this going to be kind of like a um, an inner inner city courthouse um, as well now um, the red wall, I don't think, is going to work for this particular design. I think it's going to look too big and kind of too clumpy. Um, so I think I'm, I, I'm more or less going to have to go along with the designs uh, which we saw. I think just the the, the courthouse and the, the the purple brick wall are just too good a matches um, for us to kind of miss that out. Now. What we're going to do here on the back of this courthouse is that because the courthouse is effectively here, right up against the the the, the, uh, the river. Um, so we don't actually need to can kind of continue this. So we can save ourselves just a little bit of dosh and pretend um, that it's there. Well, and of course, it, it, it actually um, doesn't kind of stretch behind. But that does give us a bit of freedom for what we actually do want to put put behind there. We can, uh, you know, we could put a couple of trees sticking out the back, or, or just nothing, or maybe a big crust, a big crusty balloon. You know, just because we can. Same on that side. You know, we can save ourselves a bit of money. We don't we don't have to carry that wall on behind because um, your eye your eye tells you. Um, um, your eye tells you that it's there, um, so you don't necessarily need to fill it in, uh, which is which can be quite handy for the kind of th the three D um, kind of things as well. Now, one of the things that you can do with a design like this, uh, while we're kind of talking about the wall, is that you can actually, you don't always have to put the road at the front of your designs. Um, you could put the um, on off. I'm not going to talk about my personal life, and if you keep asking, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you removed as well. Just drop it. Um, if you yeah you can you can often put kind of roads in the middle of your designs as long as uh, whatever kind of fencing uh, you have uh, stretches around the edge of it so for argument's sake let's say I was designing uh, I don't know, let's find let's find something suitably big um, so let's say I was kind of designing I don't, yeah like the Burns Manor um, the Burns Manor would be would be quite cool. Uh, so you could you could put a road through the middle of Burns Manor as long as that purple fence kind of stretches around the edge of it. It would still look like um, it would still look like it's part of the same um, design. Uh, in in you know, it's still like it's kind of part of, the, of the, the the same kind of building as long as you kind of do it properly. So let's try and do that um, with. Um, uh, this here so we'll have this kind of little road thing going through it and then we're going to extend out um, the wall beyond and even though the road comes through it it's still going to look like it's part of the same building which is going to look quite nice for us and that'll allow us to kind of then ex to extend the garden to kind of use other statues um, and you know whatever we kind of want to do with it really um, obviously I haven't kind of taken out my city um, beyond that 
God, I hate these little XP things that kind of pop up. I think the um, the chat has caused us enough issues tonight, so I think um, for the rest of the stream uh, we're just gonna do that. So we can bring our kind of wall around like this, and then it still kind of extends the the courthouse um, a little bit further, and again gives us some nice kind of variety um, to the. Uh, uh, to our town as well, so it doesn't always look like. Because I think often you end up with a town that kind of looks like, well, here's the entrance way, and here's the uh, uh, here, here's the entrance way, here's the building, here's the entrance way, here's the building, here's the entrance way, here's the building. You know, you, although you might design each item um, really, really nicely, um, it, it can look samey because the same kind of style is being used each time. So just a little um, thing like this um, could end up working hopefully quite nicely. And I hope I've lined up my walls correctly. Is that actually going to fit? Um, there we go. Cool, that looks quite nice. And then I can kind of carry on um, out the little path. Um, out like so. And I'll, I'll deal with that path an another day. We'll, we'll look at that design another time. That's not what I'm interested in today. But the the, the big advantage of using the, the path um, while of the uh, instead of the road is that you can put things on the path rather than the road. Like if I was to stretch the road there, you would... Uh, you'd be left with that kind of like, well, it would look nice, but actually you can't kind of put anything on it, like fences or things like that. But right now, because I have got the um, the path there, um, I can put uh, things like the police car on it. So I could tuck a little police car in there um, like that, uh, which is going to look really, really nice. But I couldn't do that if it was a road. So um, one of the things I could, I'd really suggest that you do when you do buildings is really think hard about whether you actually need a road. And if there's any way you can get away with using a path, and you'll see actually quite a lot of the designers I show, um, quite a lot of the designers I show on these will, will have loads and loads of paths. And I think one of the things we often do, if you're a new designer, and I've done this as well, is if you're a new designer, everywhere has a road, especially if you look at my old town. You know, it's, there's road, 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 road. Um, but the more I've kind of seen other designers, the more I've, you can see it actually, we kind of brought, it's almost as you come out really from my central area, the more I've got away from using large clumps of road and started to bring in uh, the, the, the pathways instead because they are just so much more um, versatile. So I would definitely recommend um, giving that kind of thing a go. Now, of course, we're going to have to bring in um, our. Um, our, uh, our, our wonderful little justice statues. Here we are, Lady Justice statue, 4,500, not premium, and it improves my obedience rating. And we've got a few options, of course. We could uh, put it right at the foot of the stairs if we wanted to kind of um, improve the size of it. Uh, we could put the... Um, if we if we put it kind of over the, the kind of the left hand side edges, it kind of frames the building. We could put it over the other side of the the, the road quite nicely, and I think that will also help us to kind of extend the design. Or indeed, we could put it um, on both sides um, in these kind of corners um, here, which I think would look quite nice. And in fact, I think that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to put two of them in, and I'm going to put them on on either side um, on the, in the kind of front wall um, of the design. Again, it's a, a, it's a bit of a shame that you can only kind of turn things um, two directions as well because it's just what would be quite nice there to get to the two statues and get them to kind of face each other um, I think that would be really really cool you know to kind of get the two statues kind of looking in but of course you can't do that because all we can do is look down and look um, or they would look to, to our left as we're kind of looking at them so it won't look uh, that, that won't really work but you know maybe one day they'll have a you know make, maybe they'll, one day they'll make like a um, a 3D um, uh, a Springfield that we can actually kind of walk through, you know, a bit like in the old um, was it theme parks? You used to play those games. They they had a, like a three uh, a theme park game, and then they had a um, uh, a theme park ink game. And on when on the next one, you could build the park looking down at it two D, but then you could press a button and walk through it in three D. Um, and how cool would that be to have that on our kind of Springfields? You know, an, an opportunity to kind of walk through the city that you have um, uh, kind of kind of designed. I think would 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 be great. So, um, well, let's move on a little bit and uh, see what else we can do here. Now, I think we could, we could, we could go with a fountain. Uh, we could go with a uh, a little pond um, in some way. We could put some kind of uh, 
uh, trees and kind of uh, and stuff in. We could even I don't think we'd go with like minnow pond or campfire or anything like that. I think they're too kind of like um kind of dirty looking because again remember we want to get that really really nice um looking um idea i mean i suppose we could even uh you know to get this we could even think about replacing that kind of front exit there with, with a big arch i think would work look really nice but sadly of course they've put that big springfield park across the top so it's actually impossible um to uh it's actually kind of impossible to um, to kind of t uh, to use it for anything else really because it it always looked quite bad. So as we could put an ambulance in, you know, I'm sure they have people passing out some time for the uh, from the kind of the the difficulty of the, uh, the 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 crime or whatever that's been that crime has been put together. But we're kind of just looking for kind of suitable um, kind of decorations, and I think I think the designs we've seen so far have really kind of uh, worked nicely. Now, I mean, a cannon would work quite nicely. I mean, it has that kind of nice kind of framing idea you could put kind of one on each side and i think it would kind of fit nicely with that kind of like military type um type thing i guess judah it, it would be a little bit like never ending story and, and also a little bit like um i was going to say lord of the rings actually but in lord of the rings you've got those two massive statues they both face forward you know with the with the, uh, the big statues with their hands face facing straight um forward but there must be other kind of uh you know, famous film thing films with like two kind of facing statues um, let's see what else we've got that we can put into our lovely little design. Lampposts, I think, would look absolutely fantastic, and then we, and we've got quite a wide variety of them these days. But as I've got these ones here, um, let's see if we can stick them in. We could uh, we could put a couple next to our entrance way, which I think will nicely uh, frame our entrance. And we could do the same at the other side. Again, if you're going for that uniform look, make sure they're all facing the same way. It probably doesn't actually matter which way you face them, um, but uh, it uh, it does matter that they all go the same way because you want that kind of uniform look. Um, just looking for, so I think benches and fun, I mean, phone booths I think would work quite nicely because um, obviously people that are getting arrested are going to need to kind of phone for bail, and uh, you know the the newspaper journalists will kind of want to uh, to let people know what's going on. So we could put a couple of them in there. Um, it, it doesn't have always have to be particularly uh, uh, kind of overly kind of thought out, but we can always. I mean, the, the symmetry works nicely in certain designs, but you don't have to kind of use it if it's not if it doesn't particularly kind of work for you. Um, what else have we got back here? Homer's hammock. We've got some shrubs. Trees are going to be cool. So let's uh, let's put some of them down the side, and they'll, they'll look nicely. I think it's really good that they have put in these. Um, uh, it's just slightly different coloured trees, which enables you to kind of um, load them up without kind of overdo overdosing on one particular colour. So uh, we could even kind of put in maybe an, an apple tree. Um, how are we looking on the donuts? A thousand donuts. Now, if I start buy if I start buying little apple trees here or there, sooner or later I'll be back down to zero again, and then I'll be uh, spitting blood again. So we can just put in a few, a couple of different coloured trees down the side. Uh, not too many as to kind of um, uh, spoil the kind of the the splendor of the building because it is a really lovely looking building um, there flowers around the statues I think is a good idea if I was feeling very rich then I'd probably put these around the edge and make it look um, uber spectacular uh, it would cost me probably well over 100 donuts just to do one statue so I think we're gonna need to do it with some of the smaller ones I could do it with those ones and just have this complete wad of flowers but I think then it might force me afterwards to kind of be like uh, you know type thing um, is this the, is the small ones yeah these are the small ones let's go for them and um, we'll just layer them around. And there's different ways of doing it again, because remember, you're always kind of looking for a little bit of kind of variety in your designs. I mean, you, you could go all the way around, uh, or you could just kind of do a little. I probably haven't lined these up very well, but sometimes you could just kind of frame it a little bit. I probably need to. Lo those aren't lined up very well, um, but you you can sometimes put gaps, or sometimes you could even put a. Um, uh, what's the phrase? Like a different things um, as well. Like you wouldn't necessarily have to have the same. Um, set of flowers over and over you could you could do a flower and then a bush and a flower then a bush and that's actually a really nice way to kind of get the variety in your design as well because um if, if if it's really really easy to just put the same object in a row you know whether it's a fence whether it's a hedge whatever uh, it's really really easy just going to go i'm going to put loads and loads of them in there uh but it's actually a bit more kind of tricky in advance to kind of say actually i'm going to i'm going to go alternate i'm going to do this and then i'm going to do that i'm going to do this and then i'm going to do that um okay, but it ends up giving you a far more kind of unique um, design, um, I think.
There we go. So some lovely little kind of flowers around there. And of course we could bring a path down. We could bring the road down a little bit further. Would work quite nicely. Uh, we could put some fencing around. But we need. I think we need something um, to kind of go um, in. Um, when we need something to kind of go in that middle bit um, to give us some kind of centerpiece. It could be a. We could be a pathway. It could be benches. I think benches might work quite nicely actually because then it would give us this um, kind of feeling that this is an area people might kind of walk through while kind of thinking through their trial or something, or even something similar like a kind of a you know a patio table or something like that would work quite nicely. Um, as well but we can see um you can see the way we're kind of going with this um, i mean a fountain would work quite nicely i mean as we're kind of starting to run out of time and maybe something like that um kind of placed in there i don't think I, it's not it's slightly off center so i'm not sure that one is going to work but something like a fountain there would work very very nicely um a, 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 as as well in a kind of design but again you know we've got a lovely bit of variety here we've got a lovely kind of wall going around the edge a few odd little decorations like lampposts the the um the bit of the ocean bit there kind of leading us into, into the kind of policeman uh the into the jail quite nicely and it just kind of works really kind of not quite nicely as, as a design um which brings us really really nicely um to the end of our hour i'll carry on um fiddling with my design and i will um uh put that up um on uh, on youtube a little bit later if you'd like to see the completed one but i hope um through showing you the other designs and having a little fiddle with our own that i've given you lots of um inspiration for your own courthouse and i look forward to seeing your designs um on one of the websites that that I have um, mentioned before. I um, hope you've been, um, enjoyed the stream. Um, I hope you had a bit of a fun, bit of giggle. Um, sorry about the technical problems before, but um, I'm sure you're all well aware that um, we are all at the mercy of the EA gods when it comes to uh, um, this kind of thing. Um, 